good morning sorry for the lighting but i want to just encourage you this morning if you've been following me long enough you would know that my channel is called life lessons inc ja and i remember saying in one of my videos earlier on that it's because i've been getting different lessons in life and i think in some way persons can be helped i'm really sorry trying to get good lighting in the vehicle persons can be helped in some way or the other right so i am happy and thankful that persons have been reaching out over the the couple of years to say you know this has really blessed me this has helped me that's very encouraging because it's all for the glory of god and i'm just happy that people are being helped because that's why this channel was made so i'm thankful for that and i'm thankful for the new subscribers i got a couple of new subscribers and thank you for the other sus subscribers i don't want to say old you guys are not old you know you are veterans the veteran subscribers <laughs> you know thank you so much this morning this morning i was reminded you know throughout all of this week rather things have been happening and this morning i was reminded that god has a calling for all of us our duty as humans is to worship god we that's where we were made we were made for his good pleasure the scripture says right we are made to worship him whatever we do is supposed to give god glory we're not here for ourselves although some persons seek to to take that route but our duty is to worship god to do things for his good pleasure you know and god has reminded me that in doing that in in providing him with 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 worship you know we seek to live a life that is pleasing to him and in all of that he has a calling on our lives he has a calling on our lives that we need to fulfill before we leave this earth you know so many persons don't you because you know you have god's divine will and the permissive will some persons seek to do their own thing and go the permissive route but in the end we know that once you're in jesus christ all things will work out for your good so with that being said god has a calling for your life god has a calling for my life but many times we doubt our calling for different reasons we are human stuff happens you know and we, we start to question but you know what god has shown me this past week a lot of the things that i'm doing now these were things that i i wanted to do from before things i i liked doing doing but i thought i didn't have what it take you know what it what it took i i thought i didn't have what it took and god has a way of just working things out and what i've noticed is that a lot of times god will give you things to do that you probably have a a desire for a passion for in a sense but you don't you believe you don't have what it what it takes you know or you believe you're not equipped enough but god will equip you all he needs is your obedience and i'm reminded of brother david who went up against goliath and he said to goliath that you you you, you know you you're coming coming against me with the sword and the spear and the and the javelin but i'm coming at you in the name of lord god almighty and i'm reminded of moses when god sent him to deliver the people you know he said well god i can't talk and god said listen i will put the words in your mouth and when he approached the pharaoh he said to him that I, I i come in the name of i am i am sent me you know god sent me and that's that's what god wants god just wants us to be obedient and to just launch out and he will provide the backup that we need because at the end of the day he's supposed to get the glory out of all of it so if you're doubting your calling this morning let me encourage you it's not about you it was never about you god gives you the desires yes and the passion however it's all about him and you cannot do it without him anything outside of god does not make any sense 
anything outside of God does not make any sense. I make no apologies about that. We can we can gain all the riches in the world and you know be famous and all of that and still be miserable. Jesus Christ is the ultimate. There's no one else, there's nothing else. And guess what? He has a calling on your life and you just need to be obedient. You know, it's it's not always going to be the process of obedience is not is not nice it's not easy i can tell you from experience past and present and uh, and to come because obedience is not a one-time thing it's not a one-time thing and it it takes surrender and it takes dying to flesh and and it takes coming out of what you think is the way to go and I'm reminded again of the scripture that I've been rehearsing all of this week be not wise in our own eyes you know and trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not unto your own understanding but in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path so irrespective of what God is asking you to do just trust him answer the call be obedient somebody out there is waiting on your obedience a lot of a lot of the times um there are some videos that you know sometimes i just don't feel like making not in the mood and all of that and once the video drops i get calls i get messages and people some people are just bawling and you know saying you know that was right on time i was feeling this way and it was just right on time and I said thank you Jesus because it's not about me I'm, I'm just a, a little girl trying to be obedient to my daddy the love of my life you know so somebody's waiting on your obedience answer the call answer the call God will equip you and those are my few words in Jesus name have a blessed day take care